and it's Monday, August 17th, 2020, uh, 12.33 a.m. Um, working on the belt clip here, wiring it up. What I'm having problems with is the uh, boost converter. I burnt out three of them, and these two I didn't know what to do really, actually. Uh, I just turned them on and, like, they're just like dead and it turns out they were dead for for real and then I looked on YouTube and found a little video about actually setting these up properly <coughs> and followed that and then accidentally burnt it out using the power supply and turning the uh, the current knob up and then it just popped so what I've done is I've made this totally over-the-top kick-ass heat sink casing for it and used the uh, Arctic Silver to glue a copper bar on top of the, the little processor here which I guess is doing the majority of the work and that goes directly to that. I'll probably completely encapsulate this uh, pot that I guess they call that in the uh, tech ingredients heat transfer epoxy leaving just the adjusting screw open uh, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, demonstrate how I'm setting this thing up hopefully to help other people with the uh, what is this thing called again the MT3608 step up DC to DC converter. Uh, here's some useful information. Clockwise is down and it's 25 turns from 0 to uh, whatever 0 to 20 or 2 to 26 volts. So, what you do to set this up, here, let me zoom in here. What you do to set this up to avoid burning it out is start by cranking it counterclockwise all the way, and it's going to be a little difficult to tell when it's actually all the way. Let me turn off the air conditioner to hopefully improve the sound. Turn this counterclockwise all the way and then plug it into a very low power thing. So I've got two uh, D cells here. I'm going to clip them to my contacts. And this the multimeter is attached to the outputs of this. So I'll turn it on here. Twenty-seven volts. That's what it's putting out right now from just two alkaline batteries. Then I go to uh, four cells, I actually damaged one of my uh, six inch machinist scales with these uh, making this plate to mount them and I, I, I stupidly uh, slid the contacts in here to measure the distance between them and then just put the scale on it. <laughs> well, alright, here we go with the uh, four cells. It should be a little bit higher than uh, what it was before. Take one up a bit to 
27.3 volts. Sure, I'm good. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Still good. Not getting hot. And what I want to want to do here is uh, set this up for 24 volts to make it the same as the small power supply. Right this way, clockwise is down and it takes you a couple spins before it actually starts doing anything. There we go. So I'm going to set it for 24. super precise but we'll go super precise anyway yeah close as we're gonna get okay we've set that at 24 turn it off again <clears throat> notice how it seems to retain power in it uh, Now, because I can't um, regulate the voltage coming out of this, I'm going to this power supply. It's currently set at uh, 4.9 volts and I'm going to use this to gradually turn it up to the 19 and a half that comes out of those batteries. Okay, see that went down a bit. Now I'm gonna slowly crank up the voltage. Make sure my uh, current isn't at zero. Well, I guess it's going to be at zero as long as uh, I can have any load on it. That's what the, uh, the fan is for. I'm wondering now if maybe maybe this is the way to do that with uh, something plugged into it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to risk it. I was running the fan when I burnt out the last one, so. I'm just going to crank this up to uh, 19 and a half and readjust that to be at exactly 24. Cool. The reason I needed to be at 24 is because the buck converter that's uh, now installed in the helmet needs at least 3 volts uh, to, uh, to work properly. You know, it reduces the voltage and it has to be reduced by at least 3 volts in order to work properly. So 24 is good. I got that set at like uh, 21. Maybe twenty and a half, something like that. 
So that's how I do that. And then um, let's uh, try this thing out with the fan attached to it. I think I'll just leave the uh, leave the multimeter on. So I'll attach this here. I've turned the current down, it was at 2 amps, so 0.72, oh, and the fan turned off, the fan is not running, and the voltage is, oh, is it dead already, is it dead already, I think it's dead already, damn it. Zero here, point three, and I think it's dead already. Damn it. I think this being dialed up to two amps. Well, uh, I don't know, man. Well, that looks like that. So let's go upstairs and do the rest of the update. Damn it. where I started uh, machining the blank for the belt clip. It's just a uh, 18 gauge stainless steel. before I started putting in the electrical components. It's August 15th, 2020, Saturday, 9.08 a.m. Um, just finished the uh, belt clip for the Makita batteries. Let me demonstrate it here. any of the uh, tools I bought. This is uh, a lot stronger. This is 14 gauge stainless steel. No, it's with, not 14, uh, it's 18. Delrin AF glides. Now an important aspect of this is that the uh, there's a pretty big space here between you know, within the battery area. So I'll be able to fit the, the boost converter here got 24 volts out so it matches the uh, the small power supply. I can just plug right into this or that interchangeably. Alright. I don't know why I said 
14 gauge, it's 18 gauge, which is thinner. It's about uh, about a millimeter, 40 thousandths. That is August 14th, 2020. Uh, 10.38 p.m. Uh, I'm almost done making the new collar. Got this uh, snap kit from Ilauki or Lauk or whatever. I go on to explain the kit. Wow. It's a pretty nice kit. Chunk that will interfere with the uh, snap pressing. The uh, matching plug. I can see the blue one. So I know it's pointing forward. I'm doing a bit of a workout to see if the fan is moving enough air. I do like 30 squats. And it was uh, kind of an acid test. So I'd normally be pretty winded from doing 30 squats. And then. Uh, Seems the camera does not have very good low light capability, so I've been wearing the mask or the helmet for about um, 40 minutes at this point, and I'm doing a workout. Again, it proves to be sufficient to keep me from uh, suffocating. get talk at some point. It's very loud inside the mask but you can hardly hear the fan at all outside the mask and uh, when I talk you can hear me fairly clearly. I don't want to wait around for me to say anything though. Um, there's the dark forward. And it's August uh, 14th, Saturday 2020, 11.24 p.m. pretty quiet on the outside. Not on the inside though, it's pretty loud. Still a pretty good breeze. Um, I just did a little activity here, a perspective on it. Um, that's inside the mask. Now let me see how hard this thing is to get on. Um, with the collar already attached. Hey Pandora!
wasn't so bad. Can you hear me out there? There we go. I guess I'll see you later. All right. So it's uh it's usable now. Actually passes the the uh safety test, I guess you'd call it. Next would be to test effectiveness. Um, oh, that's that's today's update.